Hello guys, I am Nagender and once again I am back. And uh, the thing is, today is the seventh lecture of this playlist, and today we will discuss about the slot type. So you can see in my screen that the red point we have already covered, and the yellow point is ongoing. So today we will discuss about the slot type. So the main thing is what is slot type. So the this is a basically definition that I got from the its official website. So the a slot type contain the details that are necessary to fulfill a user intent. So this line is simply is showing that the slot type is basically used to fulfill fulfill the intent. That means the intent should be covered. Okay, and the another thing is each slot have a slot type. Okay, so in the previous video we discuss about the slot. So the same thing is here that each slot has a slot type. Okay. and the third one is the line is showing basically that right now we have only the two types of slot types firstly you can see is a custom okay and the another is like a built in like you can say there predefined slot type so some building predefined like you can say bit types of the number alphanumeric digits so this is a basically definition but in the simple way so that we can easily understand what is slot type so slot type is like a related to the like a data type you can say like suppose if you are defining any age like so so i am just talking about the javascript in the javascript you just define like uh, age so you define where age is equal to 18 like something so on that time so age should be a number so here number is a data type so the same thing is here when you define a slot so slot have a slot type uh, it can it can maybe custom or some predefined okay so now i can show you some built in data type also so you can see in my screen so there are some built in slot types like city country alphanumeric date duration email first name number so there are the lots of some predefined data types so it, it is slot types also okay <clears throat> so now we just move on our like lab part <clears throat> yeah so you can see in my screen that uh, in my previous video we just create some intent and uh, inside the sport intent we need to create some slot so that you can easily understand that what is the exact mean of the slot type okay so in the sort so you can see mm, yeah so you can see that uh, we have created a slot with a name is sport name okay so but the this video is related to the slot type so firstly we need to create a slot type so like suppose we are creating a slot so when i click on the add slot okay and like suppose i just given like age okay and yeah so the age should be a number so the in the in this pop up box you can see is all of the things is a built in slot type so age should be a number am i right yes and like suppose i am asking to the user what is your age and like i just click the add button and uh, i need to save intent and then we need to build building is on progress and i also show you how we can create a custom slot type so don't worry about it i will also create a custom slot type Oops, it's a like little bit time taking process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now finds it's uh, successfully built, and I need to click on the test button. When I test, like suppose I just like some utterances, so you know also about utterances. So the Lex is given, Lex is asked some the questions. It is like a prompt. You can say yes, lots. Okay, so like which sport do you like? Like I just type the football. Okay. enter so now you can see the second slot which we just created just uh, like maybe some couple of seconds ago so it's it's uh, the second slot which i created what's your age so you know that we just define a slot with a slot type and the slot type has a number so we need to provide a number value and when i provide the number value 
so you know that that the as according to the definition it is a slot type is contain the detail that are necessary to fulfill a user intent so if if i am providing a current slot value so on the time the the, the this one the the sip the support intent is automatically fulfilled so like suppose i just given like 12 so you can see here intent sport is fulfilled so as per the documentation website so our intent is fulfilled and the main thing is slot value is also achieved yeah and the another things i can also show you because i know that you have some couple of questions in coming in your mind like suppose if i'm providing some wrong data okay because we define a age is a number but like suppose if we are providing some another value like what's your age suppose you just provided something this so it's a like a garbage value yeah it's an unsupported value we are providing in a slot so like what will be happen suppose mm, enter yeah so now you can see when i'm asking to a user like what is your age so here is lex is asking lex basically a chatbot is, is asked to the user like what is your age but the user is providing some garbage value so yeah some non-valid value so on that time you can see on that time the intent is not fulfilled properly so that's why the definition is saying when the slot is get a proper value so on that time the intent value is fulfilled so again if i providing the correct data like we are providing 23 so you can see that intent is fulfilled so here is the main reason your main concept behind the providing the exact slot type if you are providing some types of validation also okay so the main thing is slot type here and the another thing is if you want to create some custom slot type okay so you need to firstly move on the like job so in the left side side you can see on my mouse cursor we need to click on the slot types okay and here in this box there is a no slot type found so we need to click on the add slot type button and click on the first one like add blank slot type because we are creating a new slot type like we just creating some slot type like this places okay and we are just creating add okay so you can see when i create a slot type place so you can click on this button you can expand it and you can see here the slot type is a place the description is optional okay and uh, uh, and after that you can also provide some slot type values like suppose you just creating a places so like suppose you are providing some like dc delhi okay and like mg ground okay so now i need to click on the save slot type button and uh, yeah i need to click on the save button and then suppose i again move on the boat i click on the intent and then i click on the export and suppose again i am creating a, another slot like uh, mm, like match ground so right now you can see yeah perfect right now you can see in the pop-up that the place custom slot type is is persist here you can see yeah, you, in other word you can say that the places slot type is coming in the list so in the first one the custom slot type we are already created places so i just select this one and like i'm asking like where is uh, match ground and just click on the add button oops yeah <laughs> so the i am just getting some error and the error is you also know the error is the error is asking like a match and the strong ground so i think uh, uh, it's a, like some naming culture issue because uh, <clears throat> it is not taking any yeah because the thing is i just providing some underscore Okay, 
so I need to remove underscore from the slot name and we click on the, this one here is grvd ground location where is the match ok and I click on the add button yeah perfect this time this time it is not giving any <coughs> error and the same thing is happen again and I again I click on the build button and sell you know there's a time taking process actually I want to show you why I need to create a custom slot type because sometimes you need to provide some value on a limited like suppose you are you are hosting a football ground football match okay and you then suppose you are you are uh, permission only the two grounds like first one is uh, Melbourne and second one is Sydney suppose so on that time <coughs> you want to restrict to the user that only select from the uh, only select from the out of the two like user need to select either Melbourne or Sydney if the user is providing the correct value okay so the intent is fulfilled otherwise user need to provide the correct value so that's why we need to create a custom slot type okay like I just again sport football and like uh, I'm just giving 23 so now the thing is where is the match ground location if I'm providing yeah I can also show you that just a second duplicate I can show you that when we created a slot type okay oops get g boot see this one so you can see that we created a slot type with the name of the places and inside the places we define some its value like DC Delhi MG ground so if we are providing the same name value to the legs so it's a like accepted value otherwise it's uh, not accepted in a simple word okay so I just move on the word example so like suppose if you are asking like where is the match ground location so like if you are providing some this, this so you can see that intent export is fulfilled because I am just giving the exact reason because when I define this so here we select the expand value so if you are providing the expand, expand value so on that time the value is uh, coming from the user side is all the values accepted but the main thing remember if you are the click on this icon button yeah this uh, this toggle it's not toggle it's a like radio button so if I click on the, this radio button so on the time the lax is restrict to the slot value so basically on the time the validation is provided by the lax that on the time you need to select this value from out of them okay and like again we I click on the save slot type and we I click on the again build button so now the magic is happen again yeah so build is successfully created again and I need to click on the test button so I just click on the same thing export okay and football okay and what's the age like 23 so right now I am restrict to the legs so now we are providing the anything value so on that time yeah perfect so if you are providing some expand value if you are getting any like a uh, the value which we just discussed as a restriction so on that time we need to the provide exact value which are we are passing in a slot types value so we are like if we are passing some delhi 
yeah perfect so on the time you can easily see that the intent export is fulfilled yeah so the main thing and the what is the main reason we need to create a custom slot types and if i if we need we don't need any head attack so we can also select some is like a built-in slot types so thank you thank you guys thank you for and in our upcoming video we will discuss about the confirmation slot or maybe some like uh, another topics okay so thank you thank you guys bye bye thank you so much bye